This fall at Findlay Stadium, head coach Russ Huseman and the Chattanooga Mocs are defending their third straight Southern Conference crown. Give every ounce of energy you got on every snap for 60 minutes. Rep the seed this fall with the Mocs. Hold on your side and hit it in the backfield. Breaks a tackle, 40 breaks it up. Hit hard, stays on his feet, the extra effort, and he's gonna go in. Picked off, it's gonna go for six. This season, it's all about us. Go play like Chattanooga, go play like the defending Southern Conference champions, that's what you are. Welcome to Inside Chattanooga Football with head coach Russ Huseman and the voice of the Mox, Jim Reynolds. Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. FSG Bank, a division of Atlantic Capital, proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. Welcome to Inside Chattanooga Football. I'm Jim Reynolds, Chattanooga Mox football team, at least for the moment, celebrating a big Southern Conference win. Mox with a homecoming victory over Mercer Saturday afternoon, 52-31 the final score. Chattanooga remains unbeaten overall and unbeaten in league play. Now the Mox will go to Charleston, South Carolina to take on the Citadel this Saturday. On today's program, we'll preview that Mox game with the Bulldogs and also look back at UTC's win over Mercer. Plus, we'll take a look at the UTC women's basketball team as Jim Foster begins his fourth year as the head coach of UTC women's basketball. All that and more when Inside Chattanooga Football returns right after this. There's nothing more exciting than watching the Mox win. It's the result of teamwork and effort. At FSG Bank, we help our clients reach their financial goals. We have an experienced team of bankers who can help you, whether it's your personal finances or your business. FSG Bank is proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. Bank in the right direction. Bank with FSG. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by Allegra, 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Obviously moving on to Mercer, we understand, uh, uh, you know, what we're up against this week. They're definitely not intimidated by us, scared of us, and all you got to do is look at the last two games we played against them. Two years ago, they're throwing the ball in the end zone to tie it up. And then last year, uh, beat us pretty soundly uh, at their place. Got after us pretty good. I thought they had a great game plan. Both sides of the ball against us. Their kids played hard. And uh, we got whooped. So I think they'll come in here with a lot of confidence and uh, be ready to go. We just, we got to have a great week of work and worry about Chattanooga, not who our opponent is, but worry about Chattanooga and, and how we're going to get better and what we're going to do to prepare to win a football game. So we're excited. Uh, you know, I think two good teams will be playing and, and it should be a great football game. Well, no, because, um, you know, the, they had played, you know, they didn't win a whole lot of conference games their first year but they were playing some really good football teams pretty close and just couldn't get over the edge. And then last year, same way. I mean, they were playing really well. And, uh, you know, it takes a game like ours and, and, and to beat us and to, to win versus a ranked team to, to really make you believe that you can do it. But, no, our, our guys didn't take them lightly at all. I mean, we, especially down there last year, I mean, we knew we, knew we had to play well. And, and, you know, we didn't play great. And not to take anything away from them at all, because they had a lot to do with it. But 
I mean, if we play like we did last year, we, we have no shot to win this one. You know, I don't know. No, I, I don't. I don't think so. I think. Uh, you know, they've they, they played everybody pretty good, so they must be getting up for everybody then because they, they've played really well. Um, you know, they've been unbelievably competitive since they joined the league and even leading up to joining the league. So, um, you know, I think it's just it's a big game because it's, I think it's two good football teams. Round excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. Every division, every sport, the Learfield Directors' Cup. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us online and on Twitter. The Learfield Directors' Cup. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. Chattanooga has won it. They've held off the Bears. They've won their fourth straight Southern Conference Tournament Championship, and they're on to their fourth straight trip to the NCAAs. Well, we have a good nucleus of players coming back and uh, we've got a lot of players that have played in and won a lot of big games um, and I don't think there's any substitute for that. Well offensively um, I think we're going to play more people and I think we have more people that can score. As a team we've been working on um, offensively because we need to score more, put the ball in the basket more. And defensively we'd like to play a variety of defenses and I think we're going to be a little bit different and that will probably push tempo a little more. We have a very cohesive group, so we work well with each other and we've just been working on, you know, how to play with different types of people because some people are not used to playing with others and that's what we've really been working on. It's a huge loss losing Red, of course. Um, Losing her, we lose our defensive stopper, the person who would guard the best player, take them out of the game completely. And getting Chelsea back, we have a great offensive threat. So we'll have to find somebody who, who can step up and take red spot and be that de defensive stopper. Well, that'll evolve. Uh, red really, I don't think, I think she was more a leader by example, but I think that takes care of itself. In, a lot of instances, but you never know who, it, who it's really going to be. Uh, I don't think you can predetermine it. We have a group that is capable of doing it together, and we have some individuals, I think, that could step forward. Well, she, she's a very good offensive basketball player. and uh, She can create her own shot. Um, she gets, she's a streaky shooter, uh, but when she gets going, um, you know, she can make them in bunches. Yeah, I'm very confident in this year's team. Um, we're older, we have um, a lot more leaders, so I think we'll be good this year. Um, <laughs> it's interesting, I've never played for a coach like him. It is extremely fun. I think that from, for the past two to three years that I've been here, I think I've learned more than I've ever learned versus being at, like at a different school and stuff like that. I've learned just so much more from playing under him. Um, the reason we're, we have this schedule is that we, we want to not only get in the NCAA tournament, we want to win in the NCAA tournament. Um, I think the best way to do that is to play a lot of people that expect to be there. I think it'll prepare us uh, for the conference, and not only for the conference, but the NCAA tournament. 
I think that when our first game finally gets here, it's going to be another exciting opportunity, you know. I'm ready. There's nothing more exciting than watching the Mox win. It's the result of teamwork and effort. At FSG Bank, we help our clients reach their financial goals. We have an experienced team of bankers who can help you, whether it's your personal finances or your business. FSG Bank is proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. Bank in the right direction. Bank with FSG. This segment of Inside Chattanooga Football is sponsored by FSG Bank, a division of Atlanta Capital, proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics. That's a moment ago. Benefield drops back, has time, puts it up in the near side, has a receiver, and it's caught near side, down to the 15, down to the 10 yard line. He was just waiting as Mr. Boris shot, he broke free. He Benefield from the gun, pistol look. Rolls out far side on his own. He's going to tuck, no run, no throw, no up in the air. Touchdown, Chattanooga. How about that? Malcolm Coleman. Board wide on the far side. And off, they'll do it again. Derek Crane running room. Up to the 40, to the 45. Stiff arms one. Midfield in Mercer territory. Still on his feet. 30 down to the 29-yard line. He busted it, then busted it outside, tiptoed the tight sideline. Third down for Chattanooga, third down and six. Benefield drive back with tight, puts it up, looks at the end zone, has a receiver up in the air, and caught! C.J. Ford in traffic, touchdown Chattanooga! Ford was the only one that saw the football. Alejandro Benefield floated it over the outside shoulder. That one for Mercer. Three receivers far side for Chattanooga. Crane gets the call, cuts it upfield. He's at the 45, breaks another tackle. He's at the 40, first down and more. Far sideline, cuts it back in. Derek Crane still running. Touchdown, Chattanooga. Side all board on the near side. Cartre Bagley, they fake the hit. They go along near sideline, one on one. Near sideline caught. Did he catch it in bounds? Yes, he did. I thought there might have been a little bit. Four-man front for Chattanooga, third down and five. Rust the quarterback from the gun. Drops straight back, has some time. Underneath, right in the hands. That's a pick. Did he give it to him? Yes, he did. Picked off by Dale Warren of Chattanooga. Will Poindexter's favorite player. I don't know who he's throwing it to, Will. It went right in the arms of Dale Warren. Early goal from the five-yard line. Benefield drops back, rolls out, jumps it off. It is a late touchdown, Chattanooga. How about that? Each tight end with a touchdown pass today. That's the East Hamilton Hurricane. Bailey Lenore. Let's go quickly right here. Benefield for the ball. Drops straight back. Throws it off. Complete far side. Far sideline for Shotty. Does not get out of bounds. But he gets another first down at the first to Alejandro Benefield who takes the snap. Rolls out far side. Throws on the run. Near the end zone. Is it a catch? Yes, it is. Touchdown, Chattanooga. Diving grab by the box. And right before the half, UTC on the board once again. Benefield on third down. Drops back, jumps the pass. Middle of the field pass caught for a first down inside the 20. Again, that was a tight window that time. James Stovall, the Bradley Central Bear, makes the catch right there. That guy just comes free and gets it. Shows blitz again, pump fake. Benefield brings it up the middle of the field on himself. Down to the 15, down to the 10. Cuts inside, touchdown, Shenandoah. Alejandro Benefield with the blitz coming. He recognized it, turned to his left. Beat one, beat two, got in the end zone on a 21-yard run. He would have had about 18 yards to go. And he would have won that foot race. Third down right now. Russ double pumps, puts it up in the air. And, and, and that is picked. Far sideline. There it is. It might have taken a play. Touchdown, Chattanooga. Montrell Pardue on the deflection. Touchdown, Bob.
NCAA tournament. The celebration is on for the team that really, from the start of the season, all the way through. Chattanooga has won it. They've held off the Bears. They've won their fourth straight Southern Conference Tournament Championship, and they're on to their fourth straight trip to the NCAA. Welcome back to Inside Chattanooga Football. I'm Jim Reynolds, along with the head football coach of the Chattanooga Mox, Russ Huseman. Nice win over Mercer. Good football team, competitive football team, and pretty good half of football. I'll say pretty good first half and finished it off in the second half. Yeah, the first half was as good as we've played since I've been here, all three phases. Uh, to get up 38-3 on a team like Mercer, who's played us well the last two years, and uh, to get that kind of lead and then – Really, you know, it, it, it was 52-10 at one point in time, and, and then we kind of let, uh, you know, we, we, we let them score some there. They got the big 83-yard touchdown pass at Hurt. But, um, you know, we just wanted to get out of there with the win at that point in time. I know that no revenge and no avenging and another game on the schedule, but you can't tell me that they weren't – it's seemingly a little bit more excited for the game last Saturday than maybe some other ones. No, it didn't look any different to me during the week or game day. I mean, it was kind of all the same, and and that's the way we want it. Uh, you know, we don't want them too high. We don't. I, I don't believe in in all that stuff. I, I just don't. And you know, all the pregame speeches and all the hoopla and the revenge and you got to go play. You got to practice. And 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 I truly believe that's why we won the game because we were prepared. I thought set the tone early. Mercer gets the football first, a one, two, three, and out. In fact, negative three yards on that first possession. You guys come right down and score. Yeah, that was big. I mean, Montrell Pardue right off the bat. You know, he he gets the, they they come out there to cut him. He jumps over it and gets a three yard loss. And then they tried to run the ball. We stuffed it and then threw an incomplete pass. And then taking our, our offense going down there and scoring pretty quickly. You know, that was huge. I think it made our team feel better about last year's game, you know, because we did struggle early against them last year, and and, and I think it, it gave us a lot of confidence. Against East Tennessee State the week before, you talked about offensive line, running game. They seemed to step it up a little bit last Saturday. They actually they really did. Uh, we were physical up front on the offensive line, and, and you know, I told them in a the team meeting that uh, we're going to win this game up front, both sides of the ball, and, and, and our offensive line, wide outs blocked really well, and we ran the ball hard. So, uh, I, you know, our guys stepped up pretty good. I was jokingly saying that not only did one tight end catch a touchdown pass, but two tight ends caught a touchdown pass. Yeah, that'll settle all the fans down out there because I hear about it all the time. When's a tight end going to catch a pass, a pass, let alone a touchdown pass? So uh, we quieted the crowd briefly here. Now they're going to expect it every game. But uh, it was good to see. I mean, those guys – you know they they block and and they're they're an integral part of the run game and and it's good to see those guys and both were pretty good catches too. All right, let's talk a little bit about Alejandro. I thought he had a great game overall and no picks, four touchdown passes and one he ran for himself. Yeah, probably his best game of the year. He was the offensive player of the week. Uh, I thought he did a fantastic job and uh, really proud of him and, and how he's developing and. And that's, that's how we think he can play every week. How about Derek Crane? The run he had, the 54-yard touchdown path, uh, touchdown run, being compared to one of the best runs ever at Finley Stadium. That's a pretty good run. <laughs> uh, you know, we had bodies all over the place. And, and, and when he scored that touchdown, we had him and nine other guys in the end zone with him. So there were a lot of key blocks. Obviously, he made a lot of it on his own. Uh, but, um, you know, to have all those guys celebrate that with him, I thought was pretty cool. All right, the Citadel on Saturday in Charleston. Obviously, the winner of the game has has an inside track, right? Yeah, it's a big one. Uh, you know, same way last year we, we tied for the conference championship. I think they're really good. Uh, they got almost everybody back from last year's team, playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, their coaching staff has them playing really, really hard. Um, so we know that, I mean, it's going to take a tremendous effort for us to come out of the win. We talked about Mercer being very balanced. They're a team that can run the football, and that's that's the way they make their living. Yeah, we're, we um, th this is always a tough week, and and the toughest part of this week, Jr., is the fact that 
that you got to get your scout team ready. And, you know, they can't take a day, a day and a half to figure this thing out. And, and the, the bottom line is if they're not executing and you're not getting the, the look, it hurts you. And then also the speed. You just can't simulate the speed. And that's what happens, you know, when you play the triple option teams. The first series or two, guys are saying, wait a minute now, hey, I, I ran this guy down <laughs> in practice, and it's a little different. So um, we, we, we really need to have a great week of preparation this week, and especially with the triple option. Boxing the Bulldogs, Saturday afternoon, 3 o'clock in Charleston. We'll have highlights of that game next time on Inside Chattanooga Football. Inside Chattanooga Football has been brought to you by Allegra. 24-hour relief from indoor and outdoor allergies. Coca-Cola, Chattanooga Coca-Cola Bottling Company, the world's largest Coca-Cola bottler. FSG Bank, a division of Atlantic Capital. Proud to be the official bank of UTC Athletics.